Okay guys, we aren't wasting any time this episode. We have an important task that we must take care of immediately, and that task is cow catching. So let's go out and catch us two heifers as quickly as possible so we can start farming some leather and working towards enchanting. Now that we have these two beauties roped up, we need to bring them back over to the farm area and secure them for a minute while we build up a second pen next to the sheep pen. I want to get a full enchanting setup going as quickly as possible so that we can stay alive for as long as possible. So let's get this pen built. I'm just going to do the exact same design as the sheep pen from last episode, so I'm going to speed through it and then let's get our cows in here and start feeding them some wheat. And there we go, we have our first baby cow. I'm sure he will live a long, happy life and not get murdered for leather anytime soon or anything like that. Next on the agenda for the day is a quick pumpkin farm down here below our wheat and potato farm. I want to start getting these pumpkins going so I can start lighting up the area with jack-o'-lanterns if we find moss soon, but also so we can get some good villager trading going. We're also going to mirror the same design as the upper farm so we can kind of get a terraced farm look going. Hopefully I can find some more crops soon so I can keep expanding all down the hill. I think that would look really nice. And I'm gonna link up the staircase with a path real quick to make that look more connected. Okay, I can't stop myself from terraforming at least a little bit, even with my iron tools. And I've been thinking this ravine slash hole in the ground type of area needs a small creek running through it. So I'm gonna flatten the bottom a little bit and create a small waterfall that's gonna be flowing out of a little spring up above. So let's get that dug out and filled with water. I think that's looking pretty cute, so let's fill in the bottom area. Eventually I want it to flow into an even bigger pond, but I need to cover up the cave first, and I'm gonna need a lot more dirt before I do that. I also wanna build a tiny bridge over it as well. Okay, now that we have those chores out of the way, I think we should try some more caving. I wanna start getting some diamonds so we can get better armor and tools, and we're also already running kinda low on iron again, so I saw a pretty big cave up on the mountain, and I'm gonna see if there's anything good in there. Hopefully it's not too dangerous. I will try not to fall to my almost death again, but I ain't making any promises. Let's also hope that we don't hit the deep dark again immediately, as I'm still definitely not prepared for that, but since it's in the same general area, I'm not holding out too much hope. Let's grab this coal real quick before we have to go be brave. Oh my god. Okay, I, I told you I wasn't making any promises. Okay, hello. Oh god, this is bad. Okay, the caves are way too much for me right now. That was way too close. I mean, look how cute the house looks from here. I'm not ready to lose it yet. New plan, I'm gonna kill these free-range cows real quick for their leather, and I'm gonna make some leather boots so I can get some more iron from the mountains, without having to worry about sinking in the powdered snow. So let's throw these on and see what we can find. Look, we're as light as a rabbit! I've never even gotten that advancement, I don't think, because I've never really climbed or explored any of the new mountains. Well, I guess they aren't really new anymore, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's go grab as much iron as we can find. Look at that view! These mountains really are crazy. Oh, hello. Oh, look at all these goats, and there's even a baby. Actually, there's two babies. Okay, they are so cute. I'm abducting them. I'm stealing them. I had the leads on me from the cow catching earlier, and I'm taking them home with me. I know they won't stay small and cute like this, but I can't help it. They're coming back to my house to live. Okay, guys, we're back. This is your new home now. I'm your mother now. Whoa, did you see that jump? Okay, we have two new additions to the base, and they're gonna need names, so if you have any ideas, comment down below. I'll need to find some name tags, but hopefully that won't take too long. Okay, let's head back up to the house now and get back to work. I found over two stacks of iron, which is great. Now, I think it's time that we upgrade to a blast furnace so we can complete the furnace tree over in the corner and smelt stuff down a little faster. We also have to make this infinite water source into a cute little pond like I mentioned last episode. There, that looks much better. Okay, I still want diamonds, obviously, so I think it's time for another cave. Hopefully this one is less dangerous than the last one. I'm gonna try one of the caves in the field below the mountain this time, so hopefully there's no dripstone and no deep dark. I'm gonna be careful with the water this time so we don't repeat what happened last time, and I'm gonna wait for it to flow all the way down. Okay, let's try this again. Already off to a better start. Let's run around and light some of this up. Whoops! Someone add that to the creeper counter. Well, there's a ton of glow squid down here, so that's good to know in case I need some glow squid ink at any point, but there's not much else. Okay, we're heading back up. I did look in the water to see if there were any diamonds, and I didn't see anything, and it didn't really go any deeper, so this cave is pretty much a dud. Let's go find another one and hope we have better luck. Well, I found this giant hole in the ground, so let's see if we can find anything down here. 
Oh, we've got a crazy zombie throwing himself off a cliff. Okay. Mostly just iron on this level, but the water keeps going down here, so let's see what we can see. Hopefully it's not too crazy down here. That was on purpose. Oh, we've got a skeleton already, so let's run and get this lit up. Another creeper bites the dust. My bad. Oh my gosh, diamonds! Okay, I can't stop and mine those right now. I need to handle these guys real quick. Oh my god, he hit me so hard! Oh, no, 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 no! No, run away, run away! You know, to be honest, I'm not sure that was worth it for one diamond. And a little bit of lapis and a tiny bit of redstone. Okay, let's sleep before we head back. What monster? <gasps> oh, that monster. Okay, this is too much for me. I'm not cut out for this. Let's get back to our cute house. All that for one diamond and some lapis and redstone. That was terrible. I'm having terrible luck in the caves today. Let's try something else. Let's make a boat, a pink boat. Alright guys, I'm giving up on caving for now. I've made the cutest boat you've ever seen, and we're gonna go out and explore the ocean instead. I wanna find a shipwreck and hopefully get some moss, cause I love using moss and I want some azalea leaves as well, cause they're my favorite leaf. And maybe we can find some diamonds that way too, if we're lucky. So let's head down and take this boat on her maiden voyage and see what we can find. Oh hello Mr. Horse, let me sneak right by ya, and let's head on out of here. Just kidding, I'm heading back in because I completely forgot that there's something else we can find in the oceans now, and I'm super excited to try it out, but we need to go and grab some things first. This being the most important thing. Let's smelt that, and then let's grab a feather, which I luckily already have, and then let's make a brush! I can't believe I almost explored the ocean and completely forgot about archaeology. I'm also going to chop down this tree for some wood so I can craft up a couple doors real quick so we don't immediately drown in the ocean when we're brushing gravel and sand. Okay, for real this time, let's head out and see what we can find. And we found our first drowned temple? Castle? I'm not sure what exactly these are called, but let's go take a look. I guess we're gonna have to fight off some of these drowned, but that shouldn't be too bad. Oop, just kidding, that guy has a trident. Nope, not, not messing with that. Uh, back to the boat, back to the boat. I'm out. Well, here's one above water. That might be a bit easier. Let's try this. Bye, dudes. See ya. Ah, yes. Curse of Vanishing. How wonderful. I guess I'll take the wheat, though. Our first suspicious gravel. Let's see what we get. A wooden hoe. Okay, not exactly the exciting treasure I had in mind. Let's try again. And it's wheat. Okay. Third time's the charm? Nope, it's another wooden hoe. Okay, an emerald is an improvement. Finally a shard. Let's see what it is. Explore? Okay. Another shard! And it's also explore. Well, we cleaned out that one and only got two shards. Let's check this nether portal while we are here and see if there's anything good in there. Obsidian and a golden apple. I'll definitely take that. I'm probably gonna need it. Okay, in case Trident Guy is still there, I'm gonna make a shield. I never play with shields, but I probably shouldn't risk it in this case. I don't want to lose the world to a Trident Guy, so I think I'm gonna have to be a shield girly for a minute. Yep, shield was a smart choice. This brushing is so calming, other than the fact that I'm underwater. Okay, I cleared that temple out too, and I found some more shards, but no sniffer eggs, which is upsetting because I really want to get a sniffer. Am I looking in the right place? Somebody let me know. There is a shipwreck though, so let's explore that while we're out, and hopefully it has moss. Nice, at least there's a one less diamond we have to mine now. I'll take it. Heck yeah, there's the moss. Yes, that's awesome. Okay, let's head back home. I did end up with quite a few shards, so that's pretty cool. But then I got a ridiculous amount of iron axes as well, which saves us some iron, I guess, since I tend to burn through axes pretty quickly. But this seems like way too many iron axes to find in suspicious gravel. Now, instead of caving, I'm gonna dig a mine shaft so we can hopefully go strip mining instead. I know it's kind of boring, but boring is better than dying in a cave. Oh God, what are these guys doing here? Ugh, I hate these little things. Oh my goodness, why can't I hit them? I can't- I can't die to silverfish. I'll lose all credibility. Nailed it. Well, I seem to have broken into a cave, so let's go see how bad it is. Oh look, it's the deep dark again. Cool, cool, cool. No, that's fine. Ooh, well at least there's a diamond here. Ooh, two diamonds. That's better than the big fat nothing that I've been finding otherwise. 
And there's a bunch more deep dark. Nope. I'm heading back up, but at least we got two diamonds. I don't know if you noticed, but we have way too much stuff for the amount of chests we have here, so I think it's already time for a storage room. Let's make a ton of chests. Yep, that should be a good start. And then I also want to make a pot with the shirts we got, so let's grab some of those. I think we'll use the explorer ones this time. And okay, I think this is how we craft them. Yep. Okay, let's make two of those. And then since we have moss now, let's work on lighting up our area with some hidden lighting. All right, I've decided this is where I want my storage room to be. I cleared out a little bit of dirt already and I wanna set it into the hill a little bit so that I can always expand it later on if I need to. I'm going for a kind of hobbit hole style, so we'll see how that goes. But before we do that, I realize there's something else new that I forgot, hanging signs. So let's make one of those right now. Kind of expensive to make with the chains and stripped logs, but I guess we do get six of them out of it and I know exactly where I wanna put my first one. There, that looks so cute. Okay, now it's building time. Okay, I didn't expect that. It's looking cute so far, but it still needs something. Let's get an azalea bush so we can get some azalea leaves. Much better. Now it's connected up with the path. And now we're all connected. I love making the world fit together and be walkable. A few of you said that custom trees were a good idea to break up all the pink, so let's add a few of those in with our azalea leaves. Custom trees are still a struggle for me, so you'll have to let me know what you think. Okay, let's bring in the camera account and I'll give you a quick overview. Alright guys, we got a lot of random things done today, but I think we accomplished a lot. I still need diamond armor, so I think I'm going to work on that and an enchanting setup next episode, but let me know what else you'd like to see. Finding a sniffer egg, bamboo, and getting a camel are all high on the list, but I'm curious what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, I hope you subscribe to follow along. Thank you so much for watching.